ever heard of Valve's Steam Box? Not the Steam Machines, those were gaming PCs, but a full on VR PC console that was never released. Rumors were flying a few years ago, and then it just disappeared. So here is everything we know about the unreleased Steam Box. The Steam Box was a VR ready PC that Valve was developing, intended to complement their VR headsets such as the Valve Index. It was intended to stream VR content to a headset acting as a dedicated computing unit optimized for VR gaming. Rumors suggested the Steam Box would support advanced wireless streaming, such as VR Link, a feature similar to Quest's Air Link, and also a share screen function to share their VR experiences. This isn't a new project either. Valve originally wanted to release it back in 2019 alongside the Index, but that leaves us with the question, what happened to the Steam Box and why has Valve still not released it? A patent filed by Valve a few years ago gives us an early look at this device and what they were planning. It shows a console-like device sitting under a TV with a circular display that activates when the user comes near it via proximity sensor, which oddly enough looks very similar to a console-like device you can see in the Valve HQ. When touring in the final hours of Alex, meeting room 14 Northwest VR, has a very suspicious console PC looking device under the TV, which coincidentally also has a circular light similar to the patent. There's no visible branding to point to any currently released products. That is where this device seems very similar to some Valve hardware that hasn't been released, the Steam Box. Now when looking back at the Steam Box, just due to the timing of it, there are a lot of reports that mix it up and believe it was Project Galileo, but now years later, we know that that is just the Steam Deck OLED. This doesn't mean that the Steam Box never existed, because we know the Steam Box was a real device, it was confirmed by Valve themselves. Back in September 2023, sadly it's Bradley shared a Discord chat with a Valve dev confirming the existence and that they wanted to do an appliance VR box alongside the Index, but Proton and other things just weren't quite ready at the time. But this message was two years ago in 2023 referencing the Index release which was 6 years ago, in 2019. So was Valve finally ready for their VR PC? Back in 2019, when Valve wanted to release this device, it was Proton 4.2, while right now, they are in the alpha of testing Proton 10. We know Valve has been working on the Deckard for a few years now, their next VR headset, and it only seems right to complement it with the Steam Box, allowing you to share your VR experience with everyone else in the room. The Deckard will allow you to play flat screen titles in VR without requiring an external PC. The current rumored pricing for the full bundle is around 1200 to 1500 covering the headset, controllers, and some games. The Deckard is said to have inside-out tracking paired with the new Roy controllers. It will be a standalone wireless headset, a big upgrade to the PC tethered index. Plus, other recent patents show Valve has been looking into a lot more to make sure the Deckard has huge improvements. But the real question is, would the Deckard need the Steam Box? The Deckard's standalone nature is a key factor here. If it's designed to operate independently with its own built-in processing power, it wouldn't require the Steam Box VR PC to function. However, standalone VR headsets often have limitations. While they can handle less demanding games, high fidelity VR titles, especially those built for PC VR, might exceed what the Deckard can handle. This is where an external device like the Steam Box VR PC could come into play. The Deckard could function standalone for convenience and portability, but pair it with the Steam Box VR PC and you'll have enhanced performance. The Deckard could support wireless streaming from the Steam Box for more demanding games or a larger library of VR PC titles not natively supported for the headset. Valve has a history of supporting mixed hardware ecosystems. The Steam Deck, for instance, is a standalone handheld, but Valve also promotes SteamOS for other devices. Releasing the Deckard as a standalone headset and the Steambox VR PC as a separate optional device could cater to different user needs. The Steambox could also serve users with existing VR headsets who want a dedicated optimized device for wireless VR streaming without needing a full gaming PC. 
Meanwhile, the Deckard targets those seeking a premium all-in-one VR solution. So Valve very well could offer the Deckard as the core product and the Steambox VR PC as an accessory. That is, if they are still planning on releasing this device. This setup would mirror the earlier rumors for what Valve planned originally when they wanted to release it back with the Index, but Proton just wasn't ready at the time. So with the Deckard being designed to operate independently, it doesn't necessarily need the Steambox VR PC to function, but it definitely could benefit from it. I also didn't even go into the most interesting part. Sadly, it's Bradley shared updated details for the Steambox, which show it running KDE 6, which was released officially in February 2024, indicating that there was some sort of recent update, and it's not just the same old Steambox device from 2019. Valve also just introduced KDE Plasma 6 into SteamOS last month in the SteamOS 3.7 update. So could we finally see the Steambox, Valve's VR PC console? What are your thoughts? Would you want to add it to your Valve collection? Today's video is powered by Clash.gg, the only place you need to go if you want to dive into case battles. If you use my code WATERCS, you will get three free cases, so use my link down below. They also have new game modes like Tiles or Crash for you to test your luck. Deposit with your favorite crypto, cards, or skins, and then cash out your winnings instantly with any crypto or skins. Don't forget the free reigns that are random drops for you to get even more rewards. Claim your three free cases on Clash.gg with code WATERCS today. We know Valve has been working on the Fremonts, another consoleized PC device that would run SteamOS so you can play all of your games right in the living room. The big difference between the Fremonts is that the Steambox was designed for VR, while the Fremont is expected to be more of a general use. With us knowing that Valve has been working on a device called the Fremont, it shows that they are still interested in releasing another PC and or console device that will make it easy for any gamer to just plug and play and enjoy their Steam games. Overall, just lowering the barrier so not everyone needs to spend thousands of dollars on a gaming PC. This was Valve's original vision with the Steam machines, but there was a load of problems at the time, which led to them just never taking off. Not only were they pretty expensive, but there were very few working Steam games, which led to Valve stopping the project altogether. But the thing is, this was 10 years ago, back in 2015, with the release of the hardware later in the year. Now, here we are in 2025, talking about how Valve is very deep into different pieces of hardware, like a consoleized PC, or even a new VR headset. So although I wouldn't expect Valve to restrict themselves to any timelines, 2025 would be a great year for some hardware announcements celebrating the 10 year anniversary of Valve expanding the Steam universe. We even know Valve is making the Steam Controller too, taking all the features of the Steam Deck and throwing it into a new controller, something that would be great to use with the Fremont. We also can't forget the sub that was made that has a bunch of suspicious apps, including the package for the Deckard and Roy controllers. One hidden detail is that in March 2025, Valve released the Steamworks 2024 review, which is geared towards devs and publishers on the platform. Valve gives a very bullish statement saying the future of hardware at Valve is bright, indicating that they're getting excited to show off their new hardware, and 2025 seems like a great opportunity. Of course, if things are ready. So what are your thoughts? 10 years after Valve released the Steam Machine, what if they reveal what they have next? After learning from everything that went wrong the first time, we are no longer in SteamOS 1 or even SteamOS 2. Now we are in over version 3.7, which itself was a pretty big update, adding KDE Plasma 6 and starting support for third-party handhelds. Valve has even mentioned they were open to letting third-party manufacturers make living room devices using SteamOS. So 2025, as Valve has said, seems to be a great year for Valve and their hardware. So make sure you subscribe to not miss what's next.